हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द लाइक ऑल कॉल फिनॉल्स एंड ईथर ऑफ द लाइक माइंड मैप ओके इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अल्कोहल्स सो आई होप यू हैव गॉन थ्रू दैट वीडियो इफ नॉट प्लीज चेक माय प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड आई एल गोइंग टू गिव द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ओके एंड दे आर क्वाइट यूजफुल फॉर द कर्नाटक सीटी एज वेल एज फॉर द नीट एग्जाम वेर यू कैन रिमेम्बर द रिएक्शन एंड द रीएजेंट वेरी ईजीली ओके इफ यू नो द रोल ऑफ अ रीएजेंट ओवर हियर दैट इज गिवन यू कैन प्रिडिक्ट द प्रोडक्ट इन एन ईजी वे इन अ लेस टाइम ओके सो लाइक दैट these are the reactions of alcohol that i have given so if you go through there are plenty of reactions are available for the alcohols okay where i have taken some important reactions and the reagents here so here what is happening i'll go with this one first when the alcohol is treated with a carboxylic acid when alcohol and the carboxylic acid reacts together in presence of a acidic medium okay there is a formation of a ester okay in presence of a sulfuric acid we can use or in presence of a hcl which acts as a deprotonating or de uh, like uh, uh, dehydrogenating agent we could see where the water molecule will be removed and there is a formation of a ester okay and the process is known as a esterification so if in any reactions if the alcohol is given and the carboxylic acid is given in presence of an acid so you could write the product will be an ester okay this is the first reaction similarly we can get the ester as well when the alcohol is treated with a acyl chloride or acyl halide we could take okay so acyl halide in presence of a pyridine when alcohol is treated there also we'll going to get the ester as a product so these are the two methods or the two reactions okay similarly what i have mentioned here is when alcohol is treated with a potassium permanganate okay when the alcohol is treated with a acidic potassium permanganate or acidic acid potassium potassium permanganate and we know the role of potassium permanganate it acts as what a strong oxidizing agent okay strong oxidizing agent directly directly oxidizes alcohol into a carboxylic acid okay so this you have to remember now similarly if we take similarly if we take alcohol okay alcohol when treated with a chromium trioxide you could say chromium trioxide it results in the formation of respective what you could see it's a ketone okay alcohol that too particularly what it is it is a secondary alcohol when treated with a chromium trioxide it gives the respective ketone okay similarly where this is also taken as an oxidizing agent so similarly when alcohol is treated that is tertiary alcohol when treated with a alkali potassium permanganate here we have used the acidic potassium permanganate here we are using the alkali potassium permanganate we will going to get what the ketone okay in both the cases we are getting the ketone if it is secondary alcohol in presence of this chromium trioxide will going to get a ketone even for the tertiary alcohol in presence of a alkali potassium permanganate we will going to get a ketone okay similarly the next reaction is when alcohol treated with a sulfuric acid okay when alcohol treated with a sulfuric acid and heated the sulfuric acid acts as a deprotonating agent okay so that dehydrating agent also we could see, we could say okay it removes the water molecule from the alcohol and that results in the formation of a alkene okay so the same process we studied same type of a reaction we studied during the preparation of alcohol that is a reverse okay alkene upon hydrolysis will give alcohol alcohol upon dehydration in presence of a sulfuric acid will give alkene okay so the next one is when alcohol that to the tertiary alcohol when treated either with a copper or silver okay when treated with the copper or silver it results in the formation of a alkene so repeatedly dear students this question been asked okay where the primary and the secondary alcohol will give the different product where the tertiary alcohol when treated with a copper or silver will give respective alkene 
okay and the next one when alcohol treated with a mixture of anhydrous zinc chloride and the concentrated hcl we will going to get a alkyl halide and this process or uh, what we can say this reagent is known as a lucas reagent okay this is called lucas reagent this reagent or the test will be used to distinguish between the primary secondary and the tertiary alcohol okay so ultimately the product that we will going to get is an alkyl halide similarly when so the same thing i have discussed here when the tertiary alcohol is treated with a copper or silver we will going to get alkene when the secondary alcohol is treated with a copper or silver at 573 kelvin it gives ketone okay when the primary alcohol is treated with the same copper or silver at the same temperature we will going to get a aldehyde alcohol primary alcohol gives aldehyde secondary alcohol gives ketone where the tertiary alcohol gives alkene in presence of a same reagent okay so this is about what the reactions the reactions of a alcohol which is very important for your case kcet and the neat exam of a upcoming 2020 okay so in my uh, like next video we'll going to discuss the previous year questions on the preparation and the reactions of a alcohol okay